it's Abby, and I realize that Christmas just ended, but I already want to start talking about decorating for next year. I know that sounds a little crazy, but here's what I mean. The more organized I am about putting my Christmas decorations away and storing them neatly, the easier it will be next year when I go to get all of them out and want to decorate my house again. So I try to be really intentional about getting organized now, and I will thank myself later. So today, I'm excited to talk about organizing our Christmas storage bins. But before I get started, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any organization inspiration and head to abbyorganizes.com slash bonus to get our free bonus for our newsletter subscribers. Step one, gather all of the holiday decor in one spot. I like to start by collecting all of my Christmas stuff from around the house and putting it in one spot. I empty all of my bins so I can easily see everything that I have. I always think it's nice to start with a blank slate. It's easier to see what I'm working with, nothing gets missed, and I can easily evaluate which storage bins will work best for certain items. The downside is that my house looks like a bomb went off. Step two, declutter. I get rid of everything I haven't used or don't love. I love this part. After everything has been set out, I start weeding out the things that are broken, have missing pieces, are out of date, or haven't been used in a while, and I either throw those things away or I put them in donate or self piles. It's a waste of space to store things that I'm never gonna use again. Step three, sort items by type. Once all of my junk is out of the way, I arrange everything I have left into groups, putting the like items together. This time I'm doing my Christmas bins, so I put all my ornaments in one section of the room, all the nativity sets in another spot, all the stockings in a separate pile, all the greenery in a different pile, all the ribbon, etc. Step four, match items with appropriate bins. Once my items are grouped by type, it's easy to tell what size bin I will need for each one. I have all of my outdoor decor together in two bins, my mini trees are all together in one bin, all of my pillows are together in one bin, etc. For ornaments, I sort the shatter resistant ornaments by color and put all of the metallic ornaments in one tub and all of the red ornaments in another tub. Just make sure you only do this with the plastic ones. Glass ones will break if you try to store them this way. For my really fragile glass ornaments, I have little divided bins so each ornament can have its own slot. These bins are great, but they can get pricey, so I only use them for my really nice, really fragile ornaments. I just use shoe boxes to store our family ornaments within a larger bin. This lets me keep ornaments separated by type and it's free. Step five, label. As I'm putting everything in the bins, I have my cute labels all printed out so I can make notes about what is in each bin. You can download these printable labels for free over on my blog and I will leave the link for them in the description below. When I'm writing down the bin's contents, I try to be as detailed as possible so I can easily find everything next year. Once I have everything written down, I run the sheet through my laminator to make it a little more sturdy, cut out the labels, and adhere them to my bins with packing tape. So now that everything is neat and organized and ready to go back into storage, I will be thanking myself next year because it will be so easy to find exactly what I need. And all the bins are labeled, so when I take the items out again to decorate, I'll know exactly where to put them back. Do you have any tips for keeping the storage bins neat and organized? I would love to hear them in the comments below. 